Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining. Today I'm in Indianapolis, Indiana at Dillon Park and we're gonna play some of the new course here I have not been to. I ran into Scott Stokely, the old legend, and I'm gonna pick his brain a little bit, ask him some questions, just some history things, and uh, have a little bit of fun. So enjoy, sit back, relax, and here we go. I threw that fairly stiff too. I just, I just play way safe. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm here with the legend Scott Stokely. I figured I would get a couple of questions legend. in while we're waiting. Old. The old <laughs> legend. So, so Scott, first off, I, I mean, you've been traveling the country doing clinics and seminars. What got you back out? So you went, like you were a hardcore top five golfer in the world. You retire for a little bit. You, I'm figuring injury. No, yeah. no, my daughter. My daughter. Was daughter. Born. Okay, daughter. Yeah, I wanted to raise my daughter. Then we had a comeback about three years ago, and then you quit again and went and worked a little bit. Yeah. And now you're back hardcore I'm again. So what? So what's what brought you back? My daughter is off of college. Okay. Uh, so basically, I belong on the road. Like that's that's where I'm happiest traveling. Um, my girlfriend and I took every single thing we owned that we couldn't take with us in our Jeep and we gave it away or threw it away. Wow. No storage unit, nothing. No ties, I will never have another home, I'll never land, I'll never stop. Never so, say never. No, well no, yeah, eventually I'll die. <laughs> no, I, I'm, this is, I've, I'm happiest when I'm traveling. I don't want to be any place, if I'm someplace a week, like the next week, I could be seeing someplace new. Yeah. Like I don't want to see the same place again. I got gotcha. you. So, so you got another forty events. While we're while we're talking, we're gonna start throwing this hole too. Yeah. So, so how many more how many more clinics do you have? Oh, I mean clinics and seminars. Um, I have I scheduled forty two full day seminars around the country. Um, uh, they all sold out. I'm about to announce thirty more. These are full day seminars. In between them, I'm doing clinics, uh, playing tournaments almost every weekend as well. Wow. And that's up, up until December. How do we find you? ScottStokely.com. Okay. All right. All right. Now for a crush hole. Oh, it's not Get flippy. <laughs> you got over the water though. First one of the day. I know. <laughs> Hello. Hold that. Stable. Okay. Yeah. It's like right under it. Oh, that's out of bounds. Uh, yes. Like, nope, it stayed up. You got lucky. Lucky. Yeah, it did. Yep. Let's get right to. Quick, sit down. Oh, 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 right close. at it. All right, Scott. Question number two. Is yeah, this you're growth? the best disc golfer in the history of Ohio. Well, besides that, is this growth sustainable? Of course it is. Yeah? Yeah, we're nowhere near our ceiling. We haven't been growing like this for 45 years, this for two years, and then all of a sudden, like next week, we're gonna just level off. And, yeah. Oh, God, no. no so what do you what do you think this future's gonna look like? It's bright. bright. It's going to be, we are going to be one of the, like we, like we knew it happened, we're gonna be one of the several biggest participation sports in the world. Golf, tennis, yeah, right. I mean, we're a sport that lots of people will play, and they'll it'll never go away. It's not like a, it's not a fact. Yeah, it's like this is a sport that's going to be part of our our species culture forever. All right, all right. I'll take your word. Two fifty, maybe. Just about there. Yeah, about that far. Oh. Yeah. 
only risk here is going up the biggest one. Come on. Oh. <laughs> All right, Scott, what do we do about the 30 second roll? Like, I think, it's, I, th I think the challenge is asking players to make their own calls. Thanks. Yeah. You're welcome. You're put in a position. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not asking to call anyone out. I, that's no. Not, okay. I, think there, I think it's there's all kinds of people. Well, that was the reason. Yeah, was. exactly. Yeah. And, and uh, um, but when you have to make your own call, it puts you in the position of creating tension and negatively affect your own game yep. because when you call someone out if they get confrontational the whole group's the kind of wrecked yeah. the whole group well i didn't i didn't not, not the other dress people in the group that's just that's not good but people. how the rule is written though is kind of crazy too because it has you saying free of distraction so could you not legitimately yes. say anything distracted you the yeah. wind the, the the car driving by distracted you so you reset yeah i i have I have walked up to the tee pad before when when the wind was gusting and, and then found something to be distracted by. So what do we do? New rule, or it's a tough one? I, I, yeah, I, I just, God, I wish I had a great answer for that. I think it, I think if you have a rule, it could be enforced, but it needs to be enforced by officials. Yeah. But then now all of a sudden you need 18 officials for a yeah. course. I got you. I think it's tough. What are you throwing on this hole? I'm. Uh, what else? I'm going to throw the tilt thumber. All right, let's see it. This is for Simon. This is a little. I'm gonna ace hole. I'm gonna an ace with a tilt for Simon. Okay. Uh oh. Ooh, oh boy. I, you know what? I forgot that they don't do this. Yeah, that just for anyone watching at home, that's like I'm going right in after that. there. That's a ninety-dollar disc in the water. Scott. I won't go in the water for a twenty dollar disc, but ninety dollars. All right, where well, you might have to cut that. Yeah, we do. I think this is this calls for the uh, the chain juju. All right. Um, that's going to be very close. That wasn't far off. <laughs> so you've been doing. Uh, a bazillion clinics and seminars what's the one or two things that you see over and over that you wish you could just tell people right now that stop it or try this instead like the, the most common things players do wrong yeah and you God, can jump it's out. hard to narrow it down to two yeah yeah i mean with the sidearm they're keeping their, their list of things they're doing wrong biggest things they're keeping their elbow close to their body when they're throwing that's one like this and the second thing is they're turning sideways and throwing across their bodies Biggest sidearm mistakes. Biggest backhand mistakes is not planting their foot, their plant, before they pull. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to plant, then pull, and players do them together. 100% wrong, very common. Um, too many working parts. Yeah. Anything not necessary to throw, you gotta get rid of. So the throw should be one, two, plant, pull, nothing else. Um, those are probably the two biggest mistakes that players make with the backhand. Um, and with putting, people don't aim with their follow through. Yeah. If the lens is the, the target, your follow through is there. Yeah. It's not here. It's not there. It's there. That's it's the funny one. on the sidearm. So I, I, I do say keep your elbow close, but not attached to your body. I, when I see some people going way outside, they, it's kind of like no snap ability. So for me, like, I'm not telling them to keep the Tyrannosaurus Rex arm like this, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. I think it's maybe just the way I'm describing it, maybe a little differently than you, but yeah. I mean, <clears throat> so where, where, what's your sidearm? What's your, what's your follow through like then? What are you saying? You throw a ball, that's it. When you throw a ball, you throw a ball. When you throw a sidearm, you throw a sidearm. When you do this, you're throwing a Frisbee. These aren't Frisbees, they're balls. Well, if you turn them this way, they'll go balls. <laughs> but the mechanics is ball mechanic. It's not crispy mechanics. Here, I'll throw one. Show me. Here, a perfect example of this. How many players will tell you that they struggle with the sidearm, except when they're doing their Anheuser flex shot? That's their best sidearm throw. You know why? 
Because when they throw an Anheuser flex shot, they're throwing a ball, not a frisbee. Then when they try to throw a Heiser like a frisbee, it doesn't work. Nice shot. But that's that's the correct. Well, picks. that's a good lesson. We'll <laughs> cut it right there. All right. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I want to give a big shout out to Scott Stokely for uh, answering some hard questions and uh, playing a few holes with me. I'm looking forward to playing fourth you this weekend. So again, where can we find more information about your 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 uh, seminar schedule? Yeah. So scottstokely.net. Everything's there. Uh, Schedule seminars, clinics, tournaments, everything. So you're playing a lot of tournaments this year, or is this all going to be I'm, teaching? No, I'm only probably not playing tournaments for maybe five weekends the rest of the year. So all yeah, right. no, it's all tournaments. All right, and grandmasters mostly? No, no, I just whatever divisions fits. I'll play open or MP40. Okay. If there's four MP40s and or MP50s and twelve MP40s, I'll play 40. Got it. All right. So so depends. you're giving them a break, giving the old guys a break. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. Please like, subscribe to the video. If you're not following Scott already, you need to be because he's putting out amazing content every Thank week. You. So thanks again, and uh, we'll see you out there on the course, guys. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks, Scott.